Myanmar's military government has granted partial pardons to ousted leaders Aung San Suu Kyi and Win Min, but the pair still have to serve their remaining jail terms. The announcement was made as the country marked the start of the three-month Buddhist Lent. The army pardoned five out of Suu Kyi's 19 charges, reducing her jail term by six years. But this means a 78-year-old former de facto leader of Myanmar must still serve a remaining 27 years jail. Ousted President Win Min's 12-year jail term was reduced by four years. Well, the pardons are part of larger amnesties announced as the army unveiled what it calls the world's largest sitting Buddha statue. More than 7,700 prisoners have been freed nationwide. The army has also said it's reviewing the death sentences of some prisoners, changing them to life in prison. And CNA's Myanmar correspondent Young Wai Kit joins us now with the latest. Oh, Wai Kit, so this isn't exactly the first time the former state councillor Aung San Suu Kyi and President Win Min have been partially pardoned. But I'm wondering, is there anything unique this time around? And uh, I guess more importantly, where does it leave their remaining charges? Right, Atali. I think it's simply because of the build-up of events leading to this announcement, whether it's by design or by organic means. Because for the first time in more than... Uh, two years, uh, we are hearing news about Aung San Suu Kyi uh, again because recently uh, she was allowed to meet uh, a foreigner, of course, uh, that's the Thai uh, Deputy Prime Minister, uh, Don Pramod Winai. And since then, there had been a lot of chatter about Miss Suu Kyi's uh, fate and movements because sources have, various sources in fact, have confirmed that Miss Suu Kyi uh, has been moved out of prison to a house and, was, and has been detained there. And my sources even further added that the Myanmar army appears to be uh, very committed towards pushing the country back on some path of reconciliation. But you're right, uh, Oteli, this, this doesn't change the fact that Ms. Suu Kyi currently still has to serve about, or, or rather, uh, about 30 years uh, in jail. Uh, right now, her lawyers um, have started the appeals process. In fact, uh, there have been three cases that has already been heard in court in July. Uh, of course, the Myanmar army has not made any official announcement on Ms. Suu Kyi's whereabouts, but many sources have confirmed that she's now detained in the house. Uh, I've reached out to the civilian national unity government to ask their views about this possible movement. Uh, and the NUG said that any move to improve Ms. Suu Kyi's living conditions is welcome. But the NUG stressed that Ms. Suu Kyi has to be released unconditionally and immediately. Now, all these developments are happening about one month before ASEAN leaders are set to meet in Indonesia for the uh, ASEAN leaders uh, summit. And this is one development that they surely be keeping a close watch on and discussing when they meet in Indonesia. All right. And Waikid, this still seems like, you know, it could be some kind of a, <clears throat> a, a, a political show trial um, that it is still somewhat, you know, a very small gesture with the military government towards opening up, though. Well, you're right. I mean, if you speak to various parties, they will have different uh, perspectives. If you look at it from the Myanmar army's perspective, they will tell you that they are taking steps towards some sort of uh, reconciliation because the army could have easily not done anything, easily not given her any partial pardons. Of course, six years reduction from a 33-year jail uh, seems very, very minute, but uh, it also shows that the Myanmar army is not completely closing the door to negotiating with Aung San Suu Kyi. But if you swing to the other side of the scale and speak to other observers, they will tell you that this is a joke. In fact, um, one of the ministers from the NUG had told me that unlawfully arresting her and then reducing her jail sentence is not genuine freedom. Um, look, this is all part of uh, what's happening right now. Uh, and whether or not there will be true negotiations really depends. And there are three key actors here we are looking at. One, the Myanmar army. Uh, look, they still continue to fear Ms. Suu Kyi's power, relevance and influence, which is why she remains detained. But whether or not they want to take that step further and open the door wider to negotiations depends on the Myanmar army. But it also depends on the second actor, the NUG, which has also come out to say that they will continue their path of uh, revolution even if Ms. Suu Kyi were released. But of course, all this is moving towards some form of momentum of change. Question is, is it change for the better? CNS Liang Wai Kid, thanks very much for that report.